Hi guys, hi. welcome back to another video. <laughs> I told Ed to say hi and he's like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have some Taiwanese bubble tea today. Bubble World. Bubble World. From Bubble World. They have actually quite um, tasty food. So this is actually our first time trying it from them. This is the deep fried, um, squid. Deep fried squid. Spicy deep fried squid. And then this here is one of my favorite fried rice. Taiwanese sausage fried rice. Mm -hmm. mm, delicious. And over here, it is the pork stew with veggies. Which is not my favorite. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never tried it. Because oh, I don't want it. <laughs> I like the veggies though. It's good. It has like bok choy, Chinese broccoli. And a vegetable. I'm good. And yeah, delicious vegetable. The soup, the stew is actually quite tasty. You should just have a little bit of it. Oh. <laughs> and then this here is the, of course, seaweed Se salad. Yes. Okay. Can you we ready? Right. As Emma would say, shake it, Dad. Shake <laughs> it first. So for my drink, I have the ultimate favorite right here. This is the milk tea, brown sugar milk tea latte with extra boba pearls. Yeah. What do you have? This is Emma's favorite part. Shakes it and... Okay. Thanks. What did, what did Thanks for the splash. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah. Um, you have the pineapple slushy. Mm. Milk tea slushy. I don't know if there's any tea I'm in thirsty, there. I'm thirsty, so. Mmm. So good. Okay, ready? I got yeah. my sriracha right here. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. What's up? Sure. Sriracha. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> okay, you can never have enough sriracha. I'm gonna try the squid for the first time. This is what we always order too from like Chinese restaurants. Oh yeah, fun fact. When we're traveling, we had sriracha in the cooler. Because <laughs> Everywhere we eat, first thing you ask, yeah, hot sauce. I always bring sriracha. Now you bring sriracha. Yeah, because of you. <laughs> Which yeah. I appreciate very much. But I never bring my stuff. What, vinegar? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get vinegar more than you can get sriracha. I think. No, man. <laughs> yes, so, man. It's so hard to get those. <laughs> Can I get some vinegar on the side? What? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh no, we forgot. What'd you forget? Napkin? Wipes. I did it intentionally because you wipe your mouth too much. I know. I'm very self-conscious. <laughs> we can have this. Mm. My dowel. Okay, this here is oh, Taiwanese please. sausage. Oh yeah, those are good. These are really, really good. It came with a combo. We also got the kids um, their favorites too. Which is the uh, salt and pepper chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. Not the same chicken nuggets that are from like McDonald's. This is kind of like... Taiwanese style. House made, yeah. Taiwanese style. That's right. Homemade. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm, it's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely order that fresh, again. Fresh from the sea. Speaking fresh of the sea. So we, we just came back from Calgary, right? Like literally. We had some... We went to Bubblegum, one of the restaurants there at West Edmonton Mall. Mm -hmm. And we were a little disappointed because their seafood was not fresh at all. Not well, the same Bubblegum as you would eat. No, it's not much of a freshness. It's just that... The menus are limited and also... Yeah, a little bit. A little bit different. But different... The food was like... Cooking. Mm -mm, not the same at all. Not even close to being par or... No, it's it was not, horrible. It's horrible. My scampi was good though. Mm. The only thing that was good was their shrimp. But 
I had like um, ribs and it was like hard and dry. And the way they batter, they, they're deep fried. Mm hmm. Nicholas yeah. had like, I don't know, like seafood scampi too. Mm hmm. And it was like all deep fried. We got so much high expectation because from New York. I think that's why. Yeah, but it's a different menu though. So limited. Yeah. <clears throat> I was a little surprised. Because mm -hmm. you know, you're representing the brand. Mm -hmm. Which is bubblegum, which is super delicious. I think it's a knockoff. In the US. <laughs> <laughs> a knockoff of the original. <laughs> hmm. But I love bubblegum though. We all do. Me too. That's all we... That's mostly what we had in New York. A few times, yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you like the drive? Because he did the, all the driving when we drove up to Calgary and Alberta. And I hate driving. I don't like to drive. But I enjoyed it. Because we... Would you do it again? It. Yeah. Huh? I'm off in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. and I said, let's go back. <laughs> Another road trip. <clears throat> you think we should do it? I'm asking them, not you. <laughs> Actually, the kids did really well. Mm. They didn't even complain. They kept busy, yeah. Because Emma's the one that hates long drive. Mm -hmm. Even a drive, like three hour drive, said, hey, how long are we going to be? And she looks at the Navi and she's like, oh. 10 hours. <laughs> but this time, you know what? For me, the same thing too because I didn't feel that much of tiredness. Because, um. Because the Tesla made you stop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the drive of Tesla. It's a pro in a car, a car having an electric car because you have to stop. I love regardless. it. <laughs> no, I do. Regardless of, you know, if you didn't want to stop, you have to charge your car, right? So, we had to charge our car. The only thing that <clears throat> bugged me, which set us back, was a time where... We have to wait. You have to wait for, you know, the other cars to charge so, their car. But here's the thing, though. Tesla supercharging, they're improving it more along the Trans-Canada Highway, which is the highway that connects from East Coast yeah. Canada towards the West Coast. Yeah. It's kind of like I-5 in California from, from Washington Vancouver. all the way down to the border of Mexico. Mm. And there's Route only 66? Well, oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, I guess so. From East Coast to is West Coast. Is it really? Coast. Yeah, I, I was just so. kidding. You know, Route 66 from cars. Which ends up at Santa Monica Pier. Mm -hmm. Bubble gum. Mm hmm. Sorry. My arm here. Okay, so this is the the stew. The fat is so good. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fat. You don't like the fat, but you eat like the deep fried. Yeah. Lechon, which has so much fat in it. No, I won't eat the fat in lechon though. I never do. I eat the skin, mm. but not the fat part. Mm. That is the main purpose of eating lechon, which is the skin. This is the skin. Yeah, <laughs> but it becomes fat once you stew it. Exactly. <laughs> I like the veggies. So what was your highlight of the trip? To be with you guys. Nah. <laughs> mm. Seeing my best friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Seeing the Rockies. Wildfires. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those were your highlights? <laughs> yeah, because it gives you a different perspective, right? Of how. Not like the zoo or not like. 
Oh yeah, I guess it's the zoom. water park, or like. But I mean, for myself, it is <laughs> because I was driving. You guys were just sleeping. Mm, yeah, we slept so a I was lot in, in the car. Was, we were like on and off sleeping. And with the Tesla having that really big windshield, you can get a good view. Mm. And that's why I love it. True that. Mm -hmm. I guess everyone has their own perspective. Mm -hmm. I like Edmonton. I think the kids do too. They love it. You're like, can we go back? Yeah, next they week. They really want to go back. Right. Would you? Would I? I would. But drive, not driving. I mean... Flying. Flying would be much, much convenient. But I think the next time around when we're driving... But I like doing like the sightseeing and the stopover. Me too. That I don't mind. I like like the drive back was perfect because we we came from Edmonton <clears throat> and that was three three hours down f to Calgary and then we so there was spend... three hours gone plus yeah the, plus the supercharging so mm -hmm. three and a half yeah so we're down three and a half so we came from Calgary so that's why we didn't rush mm -hmm. but mind you on the way to Alberta we went straight except no, for like we we packed late. We packed last True. minute, so we did. We were rush, minute. rush, rush, and all I did was just get to our destination. Let's go, 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 go! Mm -hmm. I think that's why. But coming back, What's even that? though there's smoke, this air advisor, yeah, even said, yeah, let's just stay at the beach. Yeah, we we stopped over at uh, like Sycamus. Sycamus. Mm -hmm. We just took our time. And it actually had like beautiful white sand. Uh, gray sand. <laughs> gray sand. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just gray. It was, it was, yeah, it was like beige, okay? <laughs> no, it was gray. <laughs> so I told you we were sleeping. We drove all the way to Alberta on the way there. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to wake you up, but I just keep having that photographic memory of the sand, because you're really particular with the sand. I love white sand and white beaches. Mm -hmm. Like our sand, if you go down to the Pacific, is like... Beach. No, here? Yeah, like charcoal, you know? So. But I do want to go to Fino if we were to like go in the last two weeks, because you know. I think Nico would like enjoy that said, because he, he likes the awesome. wave. He loves the wave. My goodness, that boy. I honestly was afraid. At the wave pool. At the wave know. pool. He kept going in right in the in center. In between the tubes. And he's like, oh, I like hitting the, getting, getting hit, hit by the tubes. I'm like, you can really go down under if nobody's watching you. Excuse me. I'm like, I don't know. I was just like worried. Worried for nothing, you know, as a parent, you're like, but oh, I'm always why, why, don't do that, you know? I was watching him, but I didn't I didn't want to do the waves. <laughs> <laughs> but he loves his dad. He loved his dad. I also like the, um, the sky, skyline, zip mm. line at the water park. Mm -hmm. West Edmonton Mall. West Edmonton Mall. Mm -hmm. That was cool. I convinced both the kids to go with me, and then when I actually got up there, I'm like, "Oh shoot, this is, this is really it's really scary." I was and like, you oh my want God. me to go? Oh my goodness, I, I can't back down and say I'm scared. <laughs> Were you scared? Yeah, I was because we didn't really know. I didn't really know how fast you were gonna mm. go. Like from down below, oh look, they're going across. Now it looks fun. It doesn't look as fast, but when you're up there and when you look down, super high. But we did it and then the first push was just like, ah, it was fun. I Same thing it. with a go-karting. You wanted me to go. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm scared, terrified of heights. Yeah, we did the um, lift. There was a lift that you had to take. This is in Calgary, mm -hmm. so it's called downhill karting. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys Go are visiting, Calgary. yeah, if you guys are visiting Calgary, that's a must do because it's super fun. You take the uh, the gondola, the lift up top to the hill. This one is also the Olympic um, venue. Yeah, like you know how like a couple years ago when we hosted the Olympics, that's when they had like the deep downhill like skiers. Mm -hmm. So that's where it is. Super fun. And then you go down from this like windy so road. Beach. And um, yeah, they had a lot of fun. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you keep asking me to go. I said, I don't mind. Because he's always like, I know that he's afraid. He doesn't want to try it. I get it. When you're fearful of heights, it's different. I just want him to be there mm -hmm. and like experience it and like not miss out. Know. That's all. I toughen it out though. At the Disneyland Fair Swell, so lame. And it happened that it was a storm coming. It was so windy on the very top. Yeah. You have to keep changing each rides or whatever. Yeah, when you pause, We're you, have, you have to hang hang at the very top and wait for like thirty seconds till the next like I guess riders go in and then that's when the wheel starts to turn. When we were stuck, it was super windy, so it rocked our cart back and forth, back and forth. And knowing him, he's like, you know, super scared. He's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was holding Emma. <laughs> and he was even telling Emma to not to go to the edge because, you know, he thinks he's going to fall out or something. I'm like, it's caged in. With like a plexiglass and a bar. There's not even a plexiglass, it's just a cage. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just careful. What, what is that, a plexiglass? No. It was, hmm. no. it was just a cage. Hmm. It was safe though, don't get me wrong. It was, it was safe. really safe. But the thing is, it's just that terrified, of, I'm just terrified of heights. And she's like, conquer your fear. <laughs> sure, let's put a spider on your hand and conquer your fear. Because I'm not afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid of spiders. I just don't like spiders. Really? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. I'm terrified of. Them. I don't like Heist, snakes. Snakes. Anything amphibious. Crocodile, remember we went to Mexico the first time when we we're still dating? Mm -hmm. We walk around the beach and all of a sudden an iguana popped out mm -hmm. and sucked him. <laughs> what is that? Iguanas are actually really like scary looking. But now I'm so used to it though. You see them yeah, everywhere? I've seen that like multiple times. There you go. Do you want to try this? No thanks. That's good. I'm mm. full already, or else I would have. I'm full. I'm waiting for this. I'm really thirsty. My last squid here. Mm -hmm. So overall, how do you like the trip? It's good. You know, we did a lot. It was like go 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 every day, but we but enjoyed it. I think it was time well spent, minus like the traveling time. So we gave enough time for us to kind of like wind down and like actually enjoy it. It was a good plan all along. Yeah. As to like what we're doing on certain days. Mm-hmm. And the route we took from the beginning I said let's go take Edmonton first and then head to Calgary because you wanted to go to Calgary first and then Edmonton. So why don't we just skip it straight to Edmonton and then back to Calgary. But knowing the kids they end up liking Edmonton. Edmonton I like Edmonton more than Calgary. Me too. Calgary so it, just felt like it's like downtown Vancouver. It was like downtown Vancouver, super busy. Mm. Just yes, there's a lot of things to do. But mind you, we stayed in downtown, so true. But where would you stay in like? And then when we park, we're on Tenth Street, Tenth Avenue. Mm -hmm. That's where like the clubbers are. Yeah, the they were, young like, kids. The kids. They're like, oh my gosh! And like, remember what I say? I said, party goers. And they were like screaming, being obnoxious, and I say. Oh my god, we kids our... these days are like dressed in like... <laughs> <laughs> and you know, what did I say? 
Well, we had our fair share because we were like screaming, yelling. Yeah, but we, we weren't as rowdy as them though. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was like really interesting. <clears throat> I like Calgary. But I like Edmonton better. Mm -hmm. I second that. Edmonton is less And it improved a lot. Yeah, because he was like telling me like, oh, you're gonna hate Edmonton. There's nothing to do. It's the boring city. It's old. But... Because the last time I was there... It was like a few years ago, right? No, like a decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, I maybe because I didn't expect... And what did I say to you guys? Like, no, maybe... Don't expect too much. Don't yeah, I didn't much. expect a lot. So That's why I liked it. But then you, you and Louis were... Like saying, oh, you're gonna love you Calgary. And your, you, and your you and your best friend were saying, like, oh, you're gonna love Calgary. There's so much things to do, <laughs> so much fun. You'll love the shopping there. And then I end up not liking Cal Calgary. So, I mean, it's not like I don't like it. I just prefer Edmonton more than, yeah, it was than Calgary. Too much fast. I like the zoo, too. the go karting. Calgary's nice, but it's kind of like Vancouver, where the life is so fast. Mm -hmm. As soon as we got there, I was so drained because you didn't know where to park. Parking was a headache. There is a parking available, but to park where the test is, where you can just charge it. Mm. Yeah, because we needed mm. a charger. Yeah. And the Fairmont there didn't have a charger. Mm -hmm. Which is weird. I'm like, how can I have a charger? But you don't have a parking lot? No, they didn't have their own parking lot. Mm -hmm. They had like a parking gate that like connects to the hotel, but so not it's more, it's more connected. It's kind of like Grand Seltzer Station because at the back I saw this this Canadian Pacific Railway. I can hear the train. It's a nice hotel. It's quiet. But yeah, I like Edmonton. Me too. Well, I'm done. Gonna finish my drink later. So it evens out. You didn't finish your drink. I finished mine. You finished your food. I didn't finish mine. Teamwork. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Why am I slouching? <laughs> Alright. Done? Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next video. Bye!